How was the Dallas Pop was cracking its D boss react to this Armand Wiggins bit is titled The Problem with Tyler. Someone gotta tell us. <laughs> All right, I, I want to hear what he has to say about the situation because I thought this was very interesting. If you don't know, um, at the VMAs, Tyla accepted an award and she basically asked Lil Nas X and Holly Bailey to hold the award for her. I was like, this is too heavy. Can y'all hold this for me? And it's just, it was just weird. It was a very weird situation um, and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Speaking of the VMAs, I reacted to several live performances. They are up on my Patreon right now. Go check them out. Sabrina Carpenter, Meg, Glow. Um, I think that was it. Um, but yeah, they're up now. Link down below if you're interested. Uh, but yes, I thought the situation was very odd. And I know there will be some people who are like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Like, she didn't mean it like that. And I don't know how you can say any of that. I feel like that reeked of like uh, just arrogance and like you having too much self-importance and being like, y'all hug this for me. Like, I just didn't like it personally. I thought it was a very weird thing to request um, that they hold your award for you. Like, bitch, it's your award. Hold it your fucking self. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> and then somebody on my Patreon pointed out, they were just like, that award, They, I guess they looked it up. It was like, it's seven pounds. So they're like, if she can't hold that up for like a couple minutes, she needs to go and lift some weights like <laughs> sums up with you if you can't hold you're small but come on seven pounds you can't hold fucking seven pounds that shit is so light like girl bye so yeah i didn't like it i didn't like it and then especially when you think about this whole colored situation <laughs> uh, she's like oh i'm not black i'm colored you know it kind of felt like oh are you trying to be like oh y'all are mm, y'all less than hold my award for me like that's just how it came across that's how it came across whether that was her intention or not um, that's just how it appeared. So I understand why people, some people are side eyeing her. Uh, but yeah, let's hear what Armand has to say. Let's watch. So first of all, my tweet is going viral on Twitter, and I'm just kind of gagging because I'm like, Ooh, well, people think I don't like Ty Tyler. Tyler, this is not one of those things where I don't like Tyler. I'm actually a Tyler fan. I love Tyler's music. She Whenever you give any criticism of anybody, they're like, you don't like them. You're a hater. It's just such a brain dead argument. It's like, uh, how about you actually consider what the fuck I'm saying? <laughs> and if there's any validity of what I'm saying before you run to that, it's because you have no other rebuttal. So that's your rebuttal is niggas is haters and they don't like someone. It's just stupid. Sickening. Okay beautiful girl 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 voice all of that stuff okay and i'm still gonna stream her music but my thing is i feel like somebody needs to warn her quickly mm. chilling the black i spicy before she starts to turn people off exactly now we were at the vmas well we weren't there she was there you know <laughs> we were watching the vmas and she had won the award i don't even remember what the war was for but she had ran up and got the VMA award. And in the midst of getting the award, I saw her, you know, seemingly tell her assistant, you know, to stop, you know, this is enough. I'm going to take it on from here. But then she oh, says that, I you know, that you guys know how I am with an awards. You know, awards are heavy for me. First of all, no, we don't know how you are with right, awards. Right, the fuck? I'm not paying attention to who, how you are with awards. And I don't care who you are and how you are with awards. This is your award. Okay? Right. Little Nas X and Halle Bailey was presenting her on, on an award. And she seemingly was like, well, you guys know how I am with awards. You know, they're just too heavy for me. Can you hold it? Now, this all is after Hallie was trying to give her the note card that said her name, and she was, like, flickering her off. Oh. Like, some, some kind of like this camera screen, just kind of flickering her off. Like, girl, I'm not going to hold that. And Hallie's like, I'm not going to hold that either. Oh, I didn't see that. I need and to go back And pass that off over to, you know, Lil Nas X. So then she looks back at them, and it was angled at Hallie. Now, she is saying that. She did not. Win. Yeah, I saw the tweet that that she was like, "Oh, y'all shut the fuck up," you know. She doesn't seem very likable. <laughs> the the more the the more time passes, it's like eh, eh, eh. anyway. But she literally said, "Shut the fuck up, y'all make something out of everything." And she's like, "I wasn't talking to, to Haley." I was talking to Lil Nas X or whatever, but it's like whoever you talking to, hold your own fucking award. Why? Do, what? 
these speeches are only like a couple minutes. If they're long, they're a couple minutes. Most people go up there for literal seconds. I want to thank God. I want to thank my family, my fans. I appreciate y'all. I wouldn't be here without y'all. Thank you so much. I'm so blessed. All right, bye. You know, and then they're off the stage. You can't hold a seven pound award for, for those seconds. Like, girl, fuck out of here. Um, So, yeah. <laughs> her, her saying that, oh, I gave it to him to hold. But it didn't look like that. It did look like she was like, trying to give it to either of them it looked like she like basically asked Haley first Holly it they <laughs> I never know how to pronounce her name she asked her first and she wasn't responsive so then she like angled it towards Lil Nas X and he grabbed it that's what it looks like from from my viewpoint but obviously I don't know for sure it was not asking Hallie to hold hold Holly. her trophy that's Holly. a lie Hallie even tried to jump Hall in the Hallie. kingdom Hallie, Hallie lied too we know they both <laughs> we know Hallie lied so they, they now they we know she lied. lied. I think they wanted to keep the peace and not make it a thing Hallie. because it went viral. But Tyler didn't give a damn who held that trophy. She did. She looked back at either one of them, and she really looked back at Callie, I mean, Hallie because Hallie was the one that was giving her the card. So she looked at Hallie, was like, "Hey, can you hold this for me?" Mm -hmm. She that's wasn't thinking, like. "Oh, that's a girl, and let me go give it to Lou." And I was like, she was thinking, "Can y'all hold this for me? I don't hold this." I'm Tyler. Y'all know how hard it is for me in awards. You guys, here's another award. You guys know I just do not do mm. well with holding, holding awards. Yeah, it also came across like that. Like, y'all know all the awards I be getting. I can't hold these up. And I shouldn't be holding these up, me and my award. <laughs> like, that's just how it came across. Like, who does that? I've never seen anybody do that. Uh, and uh, to be fair, I don't watch the award show, so maybe... <laughs> Somebody else has done that. But just the way that she did it, it just, it, it didn't. Strong enough. It didn't run me the right way. X finally just came in and took the award. And then it was the, okay, now it's kind of like, girl. Calm down. No, it doesn't work like that. And she kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Like, and it may sound, I may sound like a hater, but it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because it made me feel hate. like. You know how foreigners, I just, I'm going to be honest with you. Foreigners sometimes, oh, shit. they could be very, and maybe we're like that when we go to their country. But I just be feel like they're like hella inconsiderate. You know, yeah. and they just be in their own little world and they don't really, under, they don't read the room that well. And they just, they just used to doing things their way. And they think that you're just supposed to understand it and just go with it. And it is what it is. And it's kind of like, oh, excuse me, pump the brakes. It doesn't go like that here. You know what I mean? We don't do things like that. So in my tweet, I pretty much said, hey, I'm not really sure how I feel about Tyler. I'm not sure if I like her personality because it kind of feels like she's a little entitled or she's like an uppity African. Oh, and I don't really okay. know how to explain it, but it just kind of feels like this like grandiose or like persona. Like I think that she needs to be a little bit more humble. Okay. I mean, y'all can check out the rest of his video. I will link it down below if you want to hear, you know, the rest of his take on this situation. But, um, yeah, I do feel like it did come across entitled. And maybe he's trying to say that, uh, you know, some Africans, some, you know, do come to America and they feel like they're better than the black Americans, you know? Um, so maybe that's the vibe that he's getting. I can't say if Tyla is one of those Africans or not. I don't, I don't know this woman. Um, and I have not gathered enough information on her <laughs> to conclude if she's one of those, uh, uppity Africans, as he said, <laughs> but yeah, this definitely was very bizarre. Um, I, I just feel like it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. It did not make her look good. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm not saying she's a terrible person. But when you have things that occur back to back, people start to change their perception of you. And I know the whole colored conversation rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Um, and now this has occurred. So people are starting to side eye her. Um, so I think she should be careful because she does not want to end up like icy spicy. Okay. She needs to be careful. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, though. Check out my live performances on, on Patreon. And, yeah, I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.